Hello, Mark Russell here. More swing fixes coming at you from my golf app. This guy has hit the button on the bottom of the golf app, sent me his swing. Let's see if we can give him some help. Issues with the way he stands, which gets him having to change the way he kind of swings the club around his body, and lots of it's bred from the way he stood. So let's see if we can help him with his golf swing, get him playing a bit better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, interesting swing here. He's young, he's athletic, he's got a lot of power. He looks like he puts a lot of dynamic movements in there, nice and quick. Um, it's got a basic fix really, this one. We see kind of his hand path moving. So out flicking the club back and then pulling on the handle more this way to hit down and a bit across on the ball. Um, but if you look back at his setup, you'll notice that as he stands to the ball, his hands are kind of buried in his legs. Now for me from here, if I bury my hands in the top of my legs here, there's only really one way I can go. I've got to create some space to get some kind of power, get some movement going. I can't take the club where I want to and my hands back here because I feel like I'm just going to hit myself. So really basic issues in the swing with the hands moving out, flipping the club back and then pulling the handle this way, which makes the club swing left. To have any chance of fixing that, before you would even have a go at that, you need to just try and get a bit of room in your setup. Such a basic setup drill for you all. You want to try and start with your posture where you've got your shoulders forward of your toes. Now, if my shoulders are hanging forward of my toes, so I'm leaning forward from my pelvis, so tilting my waist forwards, that puts my shoulders forward of my toes. And if I just hang my arms down, there is room. If I bring my shoulders back so they're level with my toes, then hold my hands down and I'm getting buried in the top of my legs like you or I have to start kind of fishing for it at the start. So let's just work a little bit really for you. You need to maybe send another video but hit some shots where you, two things, get your posture sorted. So a little bit more room here, about a fist and a thumbs width, quite a good benchmark kind of model from the top of the club, top of your left uh, leg. Other way of doing it is make sure your shoulders are forward of your toes and just let your arms hang down from that position that will create that space then from there don't be afraid to try and feel that your hands pull a little bit more towards your right pocket just to set that hand path fraction more this way which might help you pull on that handle and get the forces moving more out to the ball rather than over and across it it's often really common and in lessons i'll do this with people we'll see the fault and we measure with my launch monitor gc2 hmt which i normally use so we're identify the exact causes which obviously we can't do on a 2D video, but we do it. We have discussions around ideas like we're having here. And then sometimes it's as simple as a ball position change, a grip tweak, a posture change, and you can move so many of the delivery numbers from just putting the ball a different part of that circle as you're hitting, setting your posture in a different angle, which creates some different kind of vertical swing planes and also club paths and kind of um, swing directions as well by giving you some different rooms to move into. Often, lots of people want to delve straight into just changing a position for no real reason. So for me, before you kind of get really into what's happening with your swing, you've got to be able to give yourself that bit of space to swing. Once you've done that, try and feel like you're just pulling your hands back towards almost that right pocket a little bit more to feel like you're pushing those energies out towards the ball rather than like for me if you if I was to start buried in here I mean I also feel like I have to go that way as soon as I add this angle in hands out club back I also feel like when I pull on that shaft it's going to throw it that way at the ball which is what we see from you thanks for sending the swing thanks for buying the app hope that helps any of you guys want to get involved in the daily fixes which you're trying to put out at the minute get the golf app uh, watch all the content on their daily uploads go up there and also send your swing by pushing that button on the bottom and you might get your fix also thanks for watching post comments as always speak to you soon guys so if you like what's going on here don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel also thumbs up the video post comments love to hear what you guys got to say let's keep it social the more we talk the more we share the easier this game will get for uh, for everybody so if you want to find me on facebook here you can find me on facebook if you want to tweet me find me on twitter here as well just follow the links all in the description come and join the show get active get involved get playing some better golf thanks for watching